Hey, hey, everybody, this is Larry. This is me going from Q4 of the bi weekly contest 50, uh, 51st closest room. Uh, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join me on Discord. Let me know what you think about this forum and, and on this contest and so forth. Um, so this is basically, so this is a pattern that comes up in lead code, but to be honest, it's a little bit awkward because it doesn't really come up that much in real life in, in a way. Um, because, because, in real life, um, if you have these kind of problems, um, the queries are usually not given to you all at the same time, meaning that these queries are not live. These are kind of dead queries. So, and one, and, and the cool thing about dead queries is that you can process them in any way that you want. So, with, with that in mind, um, cause, uh, because if these are live queries, this become a much harder problem. But because these are dead queries, the way to to answer the queries is that we we come up with another way of answering the queries. We basically go. We basically answer the queries in in the order of uh, of going from max to min or in terms of room size. Um, for example, three. Uh, Three, we put nothing in the set yet, um, and then we have a two. So then now we we go okay. Room two is room two ID is good. Room one ID is good. Room three ID is good. So then this one has an answer, and then lastly we we process the one and everything's in. So that's basically the idea. The idea is just the idea is just processing the the queries in that way and then we slowly add in the rooms to be available and then we do a binary search on that array and i'll show you how i did in code but that's basically the idea um yeah so basically i i sort them into events and i wanted to sort by ma uh max room size so that's why hence the negative uh so my events have, have you know um so that's the room size that's the type that's the index, the index of the room. And and this is just, I needed an extra thingy. It doesn't have anything. Um, while on, for queries, we sort by room size. We have a type of one for queries. And then P is um, the preferred uh, I, room ID. So this is what we're going to look at. And then index is the index of the query so that we can know where to put the answer. And that's basically the core idea we sort the, all the events. We keep track of all the the all the numbers, um, all the room numbers that we care about. If if the the and of course we we have this type here um, that we also sort by to keep in mind, so that the zero will always come before the first, meaning that if the room size are the same, we process all the rooms first before we run the queries, and that's deliberate. Um, but yeah, so if the type is zero, we add it to the available room. So this is, this SL is just available rooms that we can uh, go to. Um, otherwise, if t type is one, then this is a query. If this is a query, we go, okay, well, let's do a binary search on the available rooms. Um, and if this is inside the list, because if this is either, because um, I think this can return the length of SL, which means that it is, um, C is bigger than the largest element, then we set it to the uh, element, otherwise it's uh, negative one. And then I, and then basically, because if you do a binary search, you um, the idea here is that if you do a binary search, you, you, you want to look at the next number and the previous number because you're in between two numbers. So I just do index minus one, I do the same thing to see if it's uh, whatever, uh, this is within bounds, and if it is, and then if, then I just check to see the distance. Um, and if the distance is smaller than you go to, then we set th this to the current index. Um, and because this index is always going to be smaller, because S of index is always going to be smaller than this index, we just set it to this index if it's equal to. Um, and then we just set the answer. And of course, you know, we call that C, in this case, is the is the prefer thing, so that's what we search because that's the prefer uh, ID, um, and D is the index in it for a query. So then we, um, yeah, we we put it back in in 
the answer array in the right place. And that's pretty much it. At the very end, we return the answer, which is the entire array. And that's pretty much it. So what is the complexity of this, right? Well, we, we do sort defense. So that is going to be... And you can actually technically uh, sort these independently and then just do some uh, math to kind of keep track. I sometimes do it that way. This time I did it this way. So yeah. Um, but in any case, let's say n is equal to number of rooms and q is equal to queries. Then this is this sorting is going to be O of um, n plus q log n plus q. Uh, just for the sorting, and for each of um, these operations, this is going to be O of log n. Just by adding it, it's going to be log n, and two binaries are just a log n. So, so th for this is going to be O of q, or eh, I guess O of q times log n. So it gets dominated by the so sorting of all these events. As I mentioned, you can actually do a little bit better and get this down. Um, to n log n plus n q log q um, or something like that by sorting these independently. Mm. Uh, these are just like very minor factors. So yeah, uh, in terms of space, well, it's going to be linear space because we just keep track of the, uh, well, linear for q and we have, you know, events will have one item per uh, the size of the input, which is the number of items in rooms and queues. So it's going to be linear. Um, and this is just, you know, yeah. Um, that's all I have for this problem. Let me know what you think. And you could watch me solve it live during the contest. Next.
Oh, no, no. <clears throat> I did it backwards. Cool. A little bit slow on the. Uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join me on Discord. Let me know what you think about today's farm and contest and so forth and whatever. Uh, I will see y'all later. Bye bye. Take care of yourself. Stay good, stay healthy, and to good mental health. Bye bye.